Dead A Legends, I'm Dazza, your furry guide to the wild frontier of AI design. Today, we're diving into two of my favorite mid-journey features, in-painting and out-painting. One lets you fix details, the other expands your world. Let's jump in. Quick note, to start out painting in mid-journey, you'll need to be in the editor mode. This image right here started as just a shot of my fuzzy little back, hard at work in the studio. But what if we want to build a world around it? Out painting lets mid-journey intelligently fill in the areas outside your original image, expanding the scene based on the existing content and your prompt. These Treehouse Studios are pretty sweet. With our painting, I can expand the scene, like zooming out in a movie shot. It's not just about adding stuff, it's about building a believable world, one frame at a time. Now here's a hot tip. If I tried to cram all this detail into one single prompt, the lighting, the treehouse, the forest layers, the camera style, Midjourney would try to do too much, and the result? Probably a mess. When you start with a strong, simple core, like me at my desk, and then extend outward with intention, you get way more control and cohesion. It's like designing from the inside out, just like in real-world scene composition. This is the secret sauce for working with larger scenes in mid-journey. Don't go big all at once. Start small, then build outwards. That's how you get those gallery-worthy results. Now, let's flip it. Sometimes, you love your image, but something's off. A weird shadow. A busted paw. Maybe my headphones don't match the vibe. That's where in-painting steps in. Let's say I love this image, but want to remove the runaway moose. In editor mode, I simply tap Erase, size up my brush and paint over the runaway. In the prompt bar, I write Remove, then submit to see my four options. Here's the magic. Instead of throwing the whole thing out and re-rolling, you just fix what's broken. It's like spot healing for your prompt. And it's not just for mistakes, it's for making things client ready. Need to swap out a t-shirt? Add a logo to a hat? Remove a background prop? In painting lets you do that with surgical precision. Whether you're a motion designer, storyboard artist, or concept illustrator, learning these tools makes your workflow faster, smarter, and much more flexible. So hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for future videos. Till next time, legends.